another question for you. What was Prometheus's punishment for bringing fire to man? He was chained to a boulder. What else? A giant eagle came down, started pecking at him, and ate his liver piece by piece. Perfect. You know, it's exciting to be so near to a great mind. Well, could you get a little nearer to my great mind? <laughs> hey! Now, I hope in between all of that that there was some kind of studying going on. I know it didn't look like it, Dr. Hudson. It didn't. It didn't. Believe me. And I've seen studying before. And this... <laughs> No, that does not look like studying. No, I was just rewarding Theo for knowing his mythology. Rewarding? That's the wonderful thing about being a human being. See, if you were a seal, you'd get a sardine. <laughs> no, Dad, we're serious. Mm -hmm. Hello. Here's a list of all the characters from mythology. You pick any character. Anyone. Anyone? Anyone. Okay. And if you get it right, I'm not kissing you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about... Icarus. First of all, I can tell you, it's Icarus. <laughs> all right, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to fool you, that's okay, all. All right. right, go ahead. Now, Icarus and his father, Daedalus, right. wanted to escape the Cretan labyrinth. Uh-huh. So they made wings of feathers and wax. Yes, they did. Now, Icarus's father, Daedalus, said, Son, don't fly too high near the sun because you'll burn. But don't fly too low near the sea because you'll drown. But right. Icarus didn't listen to his old man. Beginning to sound like this house a little bit. <laughs> anyway, his father called out to him, but Icarus kept flying toward the sun. That's right. His wings melted and he fell into the ocean, but his father made it safely across. <laughs> Get down, Dad. What's the significance of that story? Uh, I would probably say the story advised the youth of ancient Athens against foolhardiness, and at the same time, it reaffirmed the patriarchal system of Greek culture. <laughs> Is this my son? Very good, Theo. Well, just you inspire me to study. Yes, well, you see, ever since you've been with him, he's been booking it lately. I've just been trying to impress upon him that a hard-working woman loves a hard-working man. And I am listening. I want you to marry him, and I'll pay for the wedding. <laughs> so go. Now, go ahead. Kiss him. I want to see you kiss. Dad, we can't do this in front of you. Okay, I'll go up here. Now, go ahead. Come on, now, wait. Kiss! <laughs> Mwah! That's terrible. <laughs> That's the way old people kiss. I want a steady kiss. Justine. <laughs>